But traffic in New York City making its way back and forth between Manhattan and the borough of Brooklyn. Our setting tonight. Welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in stock. Joining Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. And with us tonight, the always insightful Kenny the Jet Smith. Kenny, it is so great seeing you. Hey, Gregory Anthony. How are you today? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing well, Kenny. We are. But it's good to have another guard on, on oh, our man. row here, isn't it? You know it? what? It, it just brings a whole new level of intellect to the broadcast. Thank you so much. Well, guards are the quarterbacks of best. Yeah, if you want an intellect, I'm the guy to bring now from up there. Yes. Spell intellect. <laughs> for us real quick just so we get a taste of your and now we're back off to the <laughs> <laughs> let's go ladies and gentlemen we're off let's go to the game and let's see what the nets have coming up on tuesday they'll tip off a road trip in charlotte where they'll take on the hornets and then on wednesday he'll be playing against lou williams and the los angeles clippers and with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Alder. Hey, Kevin, if you'll allow a D.C. kid to be a little parochial right now. Great stuff as always, D.A., thanks. Kenny, your shot mechanics look polished, even back in college. Some guys take longer to have that thing look smooth, yeah. and, right, and, and, and make some sense optically. Well, it's repetition uh, more than the visual so the more you like I actually shot the ball and my left hand stays on too long so I had a side spin it didn't go it have a natural revolution so Marcus Mark comes to mind Lonzo Ball you know but the repetition will help you yeah and, you know there are some guys that you know some of the great shooters don't have great I mean Ray you... Allen Kobe yeah Kobe shot it with Larry a Bird's Larry Bird. form was different but you know they perfected it and now the New York Knicks starters. Barrett Knox are the wingmen. It's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. And it's Van Vliet in at the one. And for the Nets, Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. Myers Leonard is out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's Durant in at the three spot. And here is Robinson after the three-pointer from Katie. Six to shoot. Robinson, that's good. Well, Robinson staying with the shot. I, I feel there was definite contact on the play, so not easy to get that one to go down. Irving passes to Jordan. Irving against Van Vliet. Releases. Robinson pulls it in. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Here's Randall. And it's sent back by Irving. Shows you what kind of athlete Irving is. Quick to the ball. Sends it back. They get it again. Durant lays it up off the glass. Durant's got his second bucket of the night. And, and you know what? He doesn't mind getting his hands dirty when it comes to really fighting on the backboard. Not only fighting on the boards, he's converting, and not just on the putback. It's been a great start for him. Now here's Randall. Shoots over Leonard. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Let's a floater go, and it's good on the way in. Durant's got seven. As a shooter, what separates Durant from other near seven-footers is a touch. Here's Van Vliet. Kyrie Irving with the rebound. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Knicks trail by three. Here's Barrett. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Barrett's instincts on the move and on the fast break are something that this offense will benefit from. The wide open look for Durant. No oh, good with the triple. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And we heard about market size mattering less to players these days, guys. But you see Summers where all the big free agents in Los Angeles and New York. Uh, so, Kenny, which is it? 
Well, there's two aspects of it. There's endorsements and then there's quality of life. In the small markets, you know, catching fire on the marketing front is sometimes much more difficult, but there could be a better quality of life. In a big city, you could be marketed, and then all of a sudden you start losing, and then the quality of life goes back. Yeah, and, and the reality is the fact that when we played, there was only a couple games a week on national television. Now every game that every NBA team plays is on national television. The impact of social media, they're, they're just, you can be a superstar in a small market today. Doesn't matter. Look at Giannis. You look at Durant and OKC, Westbrook. You can be as big a star in any market in today's game. Improving so much since his rookie season. I can't wait to see the next step Levert makes in his career. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the New York Knicks. They trail by three. Passes it to Randall. And here's Barrett. It's good. This game is all even. Barrett's got five. Pretty sweet pass there as Knox showing his ability to read the floor. Robinson against Jordan. Back to Irving for three. The Knicks pull it in. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Well, Knox has such versatility in his game. If you add the art of drawing fouls, that's going to help him out. This is his first trip to the line tonight. One falls and that puts him up by one point. And like so many recent top 10 picks, Kevin Knox was another one and done college player. Think about that challenge at 19 years old, coming into the league and also coming into New York City. It's a lot of pressure to get things done. And he makes both free throws. Here's Irving, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Pass to Levert. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Can you just look at this roster? Brooklyn full of stuff. There have been some very high aspirations for this team, maybe as much as any, you know, in the near future. Yeah, well, they handed out a pair of max contracts at Irving and um, Durant. Right. And then they still had a solid nucleus and core. Uh, they're trying to win titles over the next few seasons. It's going to be interesting to see if Kevin Durant gets all the way back. You know, there's not a lot of history of guys in their 30s rupturing the Achilles, getting back to that level. Remember, this guy wasn't just a great player. He was an all-time great. Brooklyn's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. It's rebounded by Barrett. New York's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. Well, inside Barrett fighting twice as hard, working through that contact and trying to get a shot off. The Knicks have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And that one falls for Barrett. Well, RJ, another one of those players who grew up around basketball as his dad, Rowan, played overseas for the early part of RJ's life, and that introduced him to the game. The Nets making a switch here. Dinwiddie's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Brooklyn trailing. Outside Irving to the paint, and KD throws it down. Showing how unselfish he can be. Irving recognizing the importance of keeping his teammates involved. Pass to Randall. Lays it up and banks it in. Randall's got his third basket of the night. Now that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. And Durant gets double team. Here's Leonard, and it's Leonard with the jam. The thing about KD, he's always had other superstars with him. 
He's grown up in this league having to share the wealth. Van Vliet against Irving. Van Vliet passes to Robinson. Shot clock at six. Here's Randall. That one's not going to go. And Brooklyn will come the other way. And there are a lot of questions on the best way, guys, to develop talent in the NBA. Uh, Kenny, would, would you restructure youth basketball in the U.S.? Many fans think that the G League could supplant college hoops. I think I would restructure it in this way. And it has nothing to do with the players. I would just make sure that the coaches are coaches. Meaning, to get a driver's license, what do you need? You need out there to learn to drive. To get a, any kind of thing, you need a license to do it. You don't need a license to be a coach. No, you got to be a licensed coach. And, and not to mention, this is still a business. So I'd rather have the impact of what the college game brings because now I got a ready-made star coming into our game. Think about when Magic and Bird came in. They were big stars because they had played in the most watched game ever. Right? So there's still a, a huge advantage to having collegians come into our league. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I think there are a lot of big men in this league who don't realize that Mitchell Robinson has that kind of quickness. They end up fouling him quite a bit. The Knicks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one drops. A lot of people like Mitchell Robinson because he does what he's told to do, and that is stay in the lane. It's where he does a lot of damage, both defensively and offensively. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Allen's checked in for Jordan. Ilyasova comes in for Leonard. And it's Prince in for Durant. The Knicks also changing it up. Bobby Portis has checked in for Julius Randle. Harris comes in for Kevin Knox. And it's Trogic in for Fred Van Vliet. Irving double team. Dinwiddie wide open. That doesn't go either for Dinwiddie. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. And that's Mitchell Robinson's attitude. Anywhere around the rim, he's going to rock it. Now here's Irving. He's still scoreless so far in this one. He gets it in there. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Brooklyn shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. Achua, he's checked in for the Knicks. Some guys just go along with the program. No questions asked. Other guys, like Kyrie, are deep thinkers who will question things they don't believe in. Guys, the game nowadays more open, more freedom of movement. Kenny, do you like where the game seems to be headed? Yeah, as a fan, I like it. And yeah. if, if I was a player, I would like it. Um, because of my style of play, I can imagine a lot of players in my era wouldn't like it. But uh, a lot more fun to watch, a lot of flow to the game. The thing I like about it is you have to be more skilled in the game today. Because you can't just grab and hold and beat people up today. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, your, like your Nick team. Yeah, exactly. We would have <laughs> we would have struggled today. We would have struggled. Now here's Irving after RJ Barrett's miss. Dinwiddie's got space. Good and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got six assists in the game. And there's the pass to Barrett. Now, here's a chew -up. Down low. And Barrett gets it to go. Barrett's got nine. Yeah, he's going to find a way to score. RJ sniffing out the opportunity there. Pass to Irving. Ilyasova. No one around him. No good from outside. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. And it's Allen with the jam. A superb offensive rebounder. Allen's long arms and feel for how to get positioning helps big time. Now here's Dragic. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Barrett, no good. 
Dinwiddie against Barrett. No good that time. Now the Knicks take it the other way. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Here's Dragic. Six on the shot clock. And it's Harris off the drive. Barrett for three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Prince misses. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Harris passes to Achua. Rogic left side. He kicks it to Barrett. Harris outside. Launches a three, and Barrett the bucket on the assist by Harris. Barrett's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Knicks. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Irving. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Now I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Barrett against Dinwiddie. Now, here's Barrett. He's got 12. Shoots over Dinwiddie. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Brooklyn Nets. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back to the action after this word. Earlier on, we ran into Bobby Portis who explained the origin of the underdog label. You know, I think the underdog story, you know, started when I was a kid, uh, you know, Always been a guy that's always been picked second. Um, even though I had you know, high accolades in high school, I had to work for those really, really hard to get those. I feel like nobody really ever believes in you know none of the things I do. Um, you know, even if I have a good season, you know, to me it was a good season, but somebody else it wasn't it wasn't as good as they wanted it to be. And Greg playing with a chip on his shoulder has served Portis well. Some guys try to block out the haters. Portis uses it as fuel to keep achieving more. <laughs> And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Nets, what do you guys think? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass, that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense, and they've been opportunistic here. Dinwiddie runs the point with Lavert flanking him. Jared Allen is out there with Ilias Ova, and it's Prince in at the three. So that's the Nets' five. Now, here's Dinwiddie. It's good from long range. Dinwiddie's got seven points in the game. Kenny, you watched the NBA for so long. What are some things you find that make successful front offices in this league? Uh, you can't be lazy. <laughs> you got to get on the road. Uh, you guys gotta... aren't lazy. Uh, guys are... there he, there's some guys there, I'm telling you. You can't be lazy. You got to be on that road. You have to understand. It's easy to see kids at Duke, North Carolina, Kentucky. But have you gone to Europe and, or yourself as a general manager? Have you gone in the, in the, uh, in the, the mid-major level and been at games when there's only 1,500 in the stands, but there's Paul George playing? Yeah. Like, have you found him? That, that, that's not lazy. And, and the thing is, the, the, he's calling lazy, honestly, is being complacent. And, and the other thing you got to be, quite frankly, you got to get lucky. You know, you got to get a Kawhi. If, 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 if you got to get a Giannis. Or you got to get a superstar caliber player that allows you to build a round. Otherwise, man, it's going to be a challenge. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you and good evening. The Knicks made changes in coaching and the front office since the start of last season. But the question is, can they move forward? Their last winning season was back in 2013. Amidst the frenzy that is the media in New York, they'd like to make headlines going forward for all the right reasons this time. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Allen after the made shot from Goran Dragic. Then when his shot is off, quarter number two, around three minutes gone by, Harris with it. 
Defended by Dinwiddie. And Barrett gets it to go. Well, RJ right there moving without the basketball, and that helps him to get to an open spot on the floor. That creates the rhythm. And here is Prince. That shot missing. Great D that time from Portis. Harris inside the line. And the Knicks good for two. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Changes for Brooklyn. Jordan, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Leonard comes in for Ilyasova. And Kevin Durant has subbed in for Prince. So New York going with almost an entire new group. Robinson's checked in for Bobby Portis. Randall comes in for Achua. Knox, he's checked in for Joe Harris. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for R.J. Barrett. Now here is Robinson. He's got five. Kicks to Dragic. A miss that time would have put him up. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Well, Kenny, you played with so many all-time great players, one of which was Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. He was a good one. Do you think we'll ever see another one just like the Dream? I don't think so. He was so unique. His ability, his footwork, his timing. He led the league in top ten in five categories. Isn't that amazing? Five categories. That's incredible. Offensively and defensive categories. It, un unbelievable. Just a dominant force. If you think about him, he is what the modern game is today. He was the one guy in his era who played the way bigs can play today. It's good fun. Not easy to cover DeAndre Jordan when he's that deep inside. It's nearly impossible to stop. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. And he makes the first. Well, there is continuous energy in DeAndre Jordan's play, really hustling on both ends and influencing those plays with that activity. And so Jordan nails both of them. Knicks trail by four. Van Vliet outside. To the right side. Randall finds Van Vliet. Dinwiddie against Dragic. Here's Knox. Good D by Jordan. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backcourt. Dinwiddie with it. Robinson picks him up. Dinwiddie with the bucket. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. Outside Dragic. New York, no good that time either. Brooklyn leading by six. Outside, KD. Robinson with the block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. Here's Van Vliet. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. And with more players controlling their free agent destiny, we're starting to see a little backlash. Yeah, you, you think there's a double standard? Teams can trade them, but players are supposed to be low. Well, it's a double standard for sure. But the only one who, who loses out are the fans in that double standard. The fans have no control over who stays in the league. 
but they have to cheer for who, who, the, who comes in. So I feel for this, but it is a business. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. It's tipped. And Dragic with a clear path to the hoop. And looking now at some numbers here for Randall. Coming off a terrific season, 19th in scoring. And he was among the top 20 rebounders in the league. Never shot about throwing his weight around in the paint. Yeah, and like you said, one of the better scorers in the NBA last season. A tireless worker on the offensive end. He could be even better this season. That one is off. Dragic, such a valuable player as a combo guard who is a veteran in this league. Unpredictable, pushes the pace, and does not lack for confidence. Kyrie Irving, he's checked in for Lavert. And he's good on the second. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Nets. Three-point lead. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. New York's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Dragic looking for an opening. A shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Dragic has got 11 points. Well, he did not think twice. Firing away, Dragic knocks down and sinks the three ball. Irving passes to Jordan to the inside Leonard and it's Leonard with the jam not getting old here seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing bobbed up there for Robinson takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down yeah throw it anywhere you want Mitchell Robinson knows what to do Dinwiddie outside here's Jordan and DeAndre Jordan throws it down well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Rogic the pass to Robinson. To the middle. Here's Randall, and he banks in the layup. Randall's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. Well, Randall finding out some creative ways how to score on the inside, becoming smarter and more adept at doing so. Katie with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. KD's shot is good. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Rogic against Dinwiddie. Got a piece of it. Dinwiddie with the steal. Irving kicks to Dinwiddie. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his eighth assist here tonight. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. And the basket by Knox. Well, you love to see that Knox just inviting the contact and doesn't mind it timeout, one timeout. bit, wants to show he's got the strength. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Harris has checked in. Irving passes to Durant. Here's Jordan, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Now DeAndre Jordan dominates this game on both ends around the glass. Van Vliet finds Harris. Here's Knox. Shot clock at five. Rebound, Brooklyn. 
Jordan's got 13 rebounds in the game. See and good that time. KD's got six in the quarter. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Pass to Randall. Van Vliet outside. Dinwiddie with some nice D. Kenny, always fascinating to get your take. We sure appreciate you coming by. Man, it's great to be here, man. Thanks for having me, man. Happy to be here. This is the best studio show up top, but we got the best down here by the bottom. Are they, are they paying you well? Are they paying you well? Not as well as y'all are. I tell you, <laughs> not as well as y'all are. And Brent, you and Kenny both enjoyed success in the NBA. Always great to have his perspective with us here at the uh, broadcast table. Well, that's nice of you, Kevin. And certainly, uh, Kenny has done some remarkable things post-career. And I love the fact with Kenny's presence, he's just got great perspective on the entirety of the game. Brooklyn shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. Torian Prince, he's checked in for the Nets. The Knicks also changing it up. Portis, he's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Achua comes in for Julius Randle. And Barrett subbed in for Kevin Knox. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Knicks trail by nine. Van Vliet outside. Here's Portis. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Brooklyn's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Here's Allen. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Bobby Portis. And his teammates love this. When Allen is aggressive trying to score, really puts pressure on the opposing defense. And Jared Allen, the big man out of Texas, a big part of his impact is how well he moves as a center. Very long and covers a ton of ground on both ends. That free throw good from Allen. Ilyasova, he's checked in for Durant. No good on the second free throw. Knicks trail by eight. That's good from Van Vliet on the assist from Barrett. Van Vliet's got his third bucket of the night. That's more like it. Rounding into form after a very, very difficult first quarter. Inside. The dunk by Achua. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. Has to bear it. Two on the clock. Good. 16 points for R.J. Barrett. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Brooklyn Nets. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? So I come out with a you know intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know, guys are in a in a great rhythm when we have a great tempo. So just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. And gracing us with his presence once again after his stirring performance with the live crew. At least that's what the card I'm reading says and it was written by the always terrific Kenny Smith. Well, you know what it was. We called it the live crew. You know what it was when I was down there? It was the uh, 
No, you know it's always fun. You know what, Kenny? Yes, I'm sir. not a hater. I'm a congratulator. Thank you. And I must say, you did a great job. Thank you. I liked it almost as much as the regular broadcast. I, I, I was impressed. <laughs> and now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harley. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Knicks, Max and Randall. They're the forwards. R.J. Barrett is out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Robinson in at the five. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Knicks trail by four. There's the pass to Knox. It's not going to go for him. You see that time from Leonard. KD passes to Irving, and they pick up two. Irving's got ten points. Well, KD, an awesome job there just sharing the rock with his teammates. Here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now, here is Irving. Short controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Man, how many times do we see DJ just devastate teams with dunks like that? Barrett kicks to Van Vliet. Randall left side. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Knox. Good on the shot. He's got six. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the 90s? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, uh, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. Here's Van Vliet following the basket by Kyrie Irving, and plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And there's the call, Brooklyn the foul. The Knicks have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. The first one falls. So Van Vliet nails both of them. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Barrett against LeVert. And here's KD for three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Robinson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Barrett slams it in. It's awesome to have a guy at that size be able to accelerate elevate like RJ did there. Now here is Irving. He's got 12. Durant the pass to Jordan. Yep that one goes. Jordan's got four this quarter. Well, with the physical tools he has Jordan's presence in the paint looms very large and he knows to live there. There at the pass to Knox and again it's New York. Everything going the plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Outside Leonard. Back to Irving. Bob 
lobs it up for Jordan. And Kyrie doing a good job of just setting everybody up, making sure there's a great pace and tempo to each possession offensively. Van Vliet with it. He's picked up by Jordan. And it's sent back by Leonard. They get it back. He took the opportunity when he saw it. Barrett's got 21. They're kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Knocks it loose. Lock at six. Here's Irving. No good there. Randall with some nice D. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. And Durant comes to help. Passes to Barrett. Here's Knox. Guarded by KD. Van Vliet, right side. Over Leonard. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Brooklyn's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. LaVert gets rebounded by New York. Van Vliet with it. Guarded now by Urban. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Hammers the alley-oop through. Robinson assertive now on offense, looking to score. Irving passes to Durant. Down low, here's Leonard. Robinson with the block. And here's the fast break. Randall leading it all the way. The putback, it's good on the putback. Randall's got the lead up to three now for the Knicks. There's somebody not alert to block out the wide frame of Julius Randall who gets in there after the loose ball. They need this. Trying to get open is Irving. And the layup good by LaVert. LaVert's got seven points in the game. Van Vliet with the bounce pass. Here's Knox. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the inside. Here's LaVert. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got six rebounds here tonight. Barrett, wide open, he fires. A three-pointer, no good. Duran against Van Vliet. Nobody near Leonard. And it's good, assisting on the play was Jordan. He has seven. This is where the remake of his game is paying off. Leonard now one of the better catch-and-shoot bigs in the NBA. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. they got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. Changes. Jared Allen's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Torian Prince comes in for Myers Leonard. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Karis LeVert. And a new group in for the Knicks. Portis, he's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Achua comes in for Julius Randle. Harris is checked in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Trogic in for Fred Van Vliet. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And the 22nd pick in 2015, Bobby Portis with a nice shooting touch. And at the same time, not afraid to mix it up. Maybe to a fault. At times we've seen him get caught in the heat of the moment. you got to channel that competitive edge and stay strong mentally. Here's Achua. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Here's Portis. Offline with his three. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. And it's Harris off the drive. Good on the bucket. Here's Irving. 14 points for him. Allen up top. He dishes it to Durant. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. 
And Cameron Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. I mean, not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. And he knocks down the first one. Greg, his scores go. Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets even more impressive. Durant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now. And in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start, start talking about having to guard the three-point line. The Nets have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And Brooklyn making a change here. Elias Ovis checked in. The amount of pressure Durant puts on his opponents, it's typical to see him among the leaders in free throw attempts. Harris passes to Achua. Harris. Hoggins left side. Five to shoot. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. Prince misses. Knicks trail by six to the paint. Here's a chew up. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Kevin Durant. Yeah, good job to take it right at the for New York, they have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. At free throw missing, Kyrie Irving is checked in for Brooklyn. Good on the second free throw. Nets leading by five. Dinwiddie with it. He's got 17. Here's Irving. It's tipped. Here's Knox. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Knox has got six in the quarter. And you know what? He's shaken off the cold shooting performance from the first half. Nobody near Irving. Good on the three-point shot. And the Nets lead by six. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Knox, the pass to Portis. New York moving it around. Yep, it counts. Harris has got six. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now here's Allen. Back to Dinwiddie. Pass to Ilias Sopa. Now Irving, guarded by Harris. On deep, Ilias Sopa. It's rebounded by Portis. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. To the wing right side. 104 left in the third. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Dinwiddie. How he did last season. Averaged 17 points a game, four assists, and two rebounds. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production 
from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up and he's really delivered. First free throw is good. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And it's Irving with the ball for the Nets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Frozen. Guy is just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Now here is Harris. He's got six. Pass to Portis. Here's Knox. Offensive rebound. And Portis throws it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Moving against Dragic. Now the pass to Fortis. Left side, Harris. Here's Trogic from outside, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. Nets lead by three. Live from Brooklyn, New York, you're watching 2K Sports. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Knicks trail by three. They've got Karis LeVert. Torian Prince is out there with Allen. Then there's Irving. And it's Dinwiddie in at the shooting guard position. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Passes it to Portis. Just five on the clock. A rebound by the Nets. Allen's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Irving for three. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Levert's got three assists tonight. Rogic against Irving. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. Now just a really confident play from Dragic to get the foul while he's taking that shot attempt. Free throw drive for Goran Dragic. Jordan, he's checked in for Torian Prince. And then for New York, Robinson's checked in for Achua. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Harris. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Brooklyn leading by four. Irving double team. To the middle. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. DeAndre Jordan, I don't think he's shot more than 10 shots outside the paint the last few years, so dunking is what he does. Hans Best, Dragic. They double him with Irving. Van Vliet finds Barrett. And Portis throws it down. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. And that one's good, Irving. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Here's Van Vliet, and Jordan sends it back. If there's one end of the floor that DJ takes seriously, it's the defensive end, and he loves to get up and reject those shots. And the shot goes in. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. That's leading by nine. 
Looking for Levert. He gets it there. And it's Jordan with the jam. Well, here's a bit of an anomaly on the offensive end here tonight. DeAndre Jordan taking control and imposing his offensive will. Kept alive. To end the run. Excellent D there from Allen. Brooklyn's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. A nice shot by Levert. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Greg, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more, uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And if you still look at the, the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. And Brooklyn making a change here. Durant's checked in. Then for the Knicks, Rando comes in for Portis. And Kevin Knox is subbed in for Goran Dragic. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better. And we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Thanks so much, David. Well, elite scoring ability of Kevin Durant. When he's in a groove like this, every opportunity when he has the ball feels like a good one. Here's Knox. Pass to Van Vliet. And finished off by Robinson. Well, sometimes it's uh, like a patient that's struggling to breathe. You just got to keep the play alive, and Robinson able to do that there. Here's Irving. Banked in off the glass. Irving's got the lead up to 13 now for the Nets. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Van Vliet, and that one is good. Well, any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good one. Wound up there for Allen. As Allen continues to develop his offensive game, he continues to earn the trust of his teammates. Here's Van Vliet. It's good. Van Vliet's got four points this quarter. And that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Well, that's a sweet pass and knocks up there to do damage. Fingers to Durant. Avert in the corner. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. And he's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. You got to know where he is at all times. Such a wide open look. Randall's got nine points here in the second half. Both teams running perimeter oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Now here's Jordan Irving for three. And pushing it up, here's New York. Randall's running. Bucket is good. And now it's only a five-point Nets lead. It's just what the doctor ordered here. Boy, have they needed him here in the fourth. Outside Irving. It's up a three. Hits the three-point pop. Irving's got 13 points in just this quarter. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Back to Van Vliet. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. 
Assist. 14 points for Fred Van Vliet. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, the D cannot handle DJ right now. A gigantic guy on the inside who's going to get those calls most of the time. DeAndre Jordan. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. Leonard, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And so Jordan nails both of them. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. They double him with Irving. It's Barrett on the wing. Off target from three-point range. And, and they continue to control the glass. Pass to Leonard. To the inside. And that one's good, Irving. Uh, he's been incredible in this half. Anytime he pulls up from outside, you think that's bottom. And Randall throws it down. Well, Randall is looking like tonight he's capable of taking on the whole offensive load. Here's Irving. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And that one falls for Irving. Shifty with his speed. Incredible ball handling. So hard to guard Kyrie. But so thrilling to sit here and watch it all up close. Now here is Robinson. There it finds Robinson. Shoots. Offensive rebound. Randall. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And he's... Clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Irving misses. Knicks trail by nine. Here's Knox. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Well, that kind of activity from Kevin Knox is going to pose some problems for the defense. At the line. good on that one. Dinwiddie was checked in for Irving. So he comes up empty, missing both. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Dinwiddie passes to Jordan. Back to Dinwiddie. Robinson with the block. And he bangs it home with one hand. Now this kind of balance is going to make a huge difference in R.J. Barrett's improvement in the league. When to score and when to be the assist maker. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Well, the Knicks fans looking for any ray of hope. And it doesn't have to come at the hands of high-level draft choices. Mitchell Robinson is one of those young players right now for them who's showing a ton of promise. Kyrie Irving. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. 
He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Nets. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And he makes good on the way. Dinwiddie's got 19 points. And Robinson, a second-round pick for the Knicks. Brent, he has been a steal. I agree with you. He started playing basketball in eighth grade, so you wonder how much more unlimited and untapped potential does Mitchell Robinson have at this position. Now here's Lavert, following the miss by Fred Van Vliet. Knicks trail by 11. To the paint. Here's Randall. And no good. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Inside. Durant trying to break free. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Oh, you hear that sound? That's uh, the yep. flushing of the toilet oh. right there. <laughs> Greg, a fierce two-hander. Down low. Randall kicks to Robinson. And stolen by Jordan. In transition, here come the Nets. Here's Dinwiddie. Stolen by Van Vliet. Over to the wing. Knox. Misses the three. Nets leading by 13. Pops it up for Jordan. Up high to stop the alley-oop. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Brooklyn. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Kyrie Irving. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. Outside Portis. Trying to end the drought. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A pass to Bay. Here's Luwak. Shot clock at six. Fires from deep. The offensive rebound. And the shot is good. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. Yeah, huge motivation. Always great for a young team. But veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Proving he belongs in this league. Neil Aquina getting better at taking contact and finishing. And that one falls for Neil Aquina. All the talk about Neil Aquina coming into the league is that he was an unpolished offensive player, but defensively could get after it and guard the one, two, and possibly three position. But now it's about him stepping up offensive production. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. But once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. Nice win tonight. What was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Olsen, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.
what you need to do.